So I made this lamp a spider lamp. I was inspired by Rebecca de Groot. She makes pieces, furniture, decor with spider-like legs. Just stunning work. I'll leave a link to her site below. So I drew out a template and then I cut out the individual sections. I used stick glue on the back of the paper template and stuck it on the wood. This whole project is made from scraps I had laying around. My bandsaw blade is in really bad shape. I need to get a new one. I used the first leg I cut and traced the rest of them like that. So I did some more cutting on the saw. These are all the legs and the fixture I'm going to use. I made the body so that it wraps around the fixture. I'm gluing it up and pasting it on the wood scrap. And I'm taking a Fostner bit and drilling out some space for my scroll saw blade to fit in. This is a good little scroll saw. I don't use it every day, but it's great when you need it for projects like this. So the center is cut, now I'm gonna cut out the outer shape. I cut three of those donuts out for the body, so I glued them up and clamped the piece. The sanding took forever. I didn't really get it as smooth as I'd liked, but believe me, it was a lot of sanding. The same thing was true with the body of the spider lamp, but not as much sanding as with the legs. I just wanted to get all three glued up pieces to transition smoothly. <laughs> I did get a little tired of the belt sanding, so I took a dowel to speed up the process. It came out pretty good. At that point, I got a call from my grandmother. I left the camera running. My dog Vigo is always looking out for me. This made me smile. So I used a Dremel to cut out a place for the legs to fit. I know that Rebecca de Groot uses splines to attach her legs. I just went with this idea. I was going to epoxy those legs to the body and hope they hold up, which they have. I stained the legs dark to contrast with the spider body. The body I left natural. And I went and repeated the process for all the legs. I had to hold the legs in position till the epoxy started to set. If not, the legs would just dance around too much. So I took an extension cord, snipped off the end I didn't need, and added the wires to the fixture. I ran the extension cord through the spider, and screwed the bulb in. Thanks to Rebecca de Groot for the inspiration. Subscribe, comment, and like. This is Escajedo Woodworking.